Hi, this is Christina. We have talked about why use Red Hat Jingle Spheres and touch a little bit about Camel. And in this video, I want to take a look at the foundation of Red Hat JBoss Fuse. So it is a OSGI based container called Karaf. OSGI is a modular system. It only loads the necessary classes and the libraries into the container. So it is super lightweight to start up. So every bundle in the containers are considered as a service, exposing the package that is specified already before, along with the versions of libraries. So in J inside JVM, it takes shorter time to look up. And because every bundle are considered as a service, they are more independent to each other than the traditional system. So therefore, you can actually dynamically configure and deploy your new bundle without affecting the old ones to achieve hot deployment. And because OSGI checks the package in dependencies in deployment time, it will also avoid unexpected runtime errors too. And because of this lightweight nature, it becomes very cheap to spin up one containers with your application on it. So now we could really, really start thinking about um, deploying our microservices into separate and distributed containers or runtime instance in different locations. And Camel also allows, uh, if you don't like the lightweight OSGI container, Camel has the options of allowing to uh, deploy on a traditional Java E container, uh, which is our JBoss Enterprise Application Server. So this gives uh, Red Hat JBoss views a fundamental, lightweight, and flexible extendable base. So let's look at the management side. Um, Fuse Fabric is an excellent piece of technology that provides you the management capabilities. So it is going to help you to visualize your integration environment. Um, it simplifies the management side of you know, managing the large number of distributed containers. So through Fabric, you could actually use it to start up um, numbers of containers as you need and use it um, to delete ones that you don't want. And you could actually deploy your bundles features onto these containers or running instance in, uh, through Fabric. After the bundle has deployed on the container, it is then registered in, um, in, the, fab, uh, in the Fabric registry. So in Fuse, we, we use the technology called Zookeeper. It is, reliable, it, it is going to reliably coordinate the distributed service as a registry. So um, across the entire Fabric, um, the different services can look up each other. So it, it, this registry is, is stored through um, you know, a cluster environment um, across, the distributed, across the distributed environment of your system. So um, Fabric also allows you to load, uh, load balance your HTTP or messaging services through a gateway. It will um, evenly spread out your load and with the master and uh, slave configuration to make your application more stable. So when problems occur in the master, which is the main one that's running, it will instantly fail over to slave and start um, to make it running again. And um, Fabric also ensures that it is always redirect to the working services container. The service register are spread across the distributed environment, so every services inside Fabric can look up each other. And recently, we added the auto scaling capabilities. So you could add the requirements on your service profile, saying the uh, at, you know something like I required at least two instance, uh, at least two instance running my profile, and maximum of three instance running. And this will make it so much easier to you know either autom automatically or manually scale your system to the required um, scale. Well, um, Fabric also provides a um, extensible command line mode, so you could implement your own continuous integration script. But you know, when managing when managing, it is always better to have a more visualized view. Well, Fabric provides a visualized management console. So you could have a centralized view and control of the distributed containers within Fabric. Plus, it provides an overall performance view of how container is doing. And this is total scaling configuration settings page that I, was, I mentioned earlier. And this is um, the place that you manage your um, online deployment till every uh, bundle level. And here is the um, log console allows you to you know, filter your log and make it easier to see what is actually going on in your server.
And so when deploying a camel application, the console provides a, a view of how um, the route goes. Well, you can even runtime debug on the containers. And here you can see the details of how the flow goes and what actually went wrong inside headers or body um, of the camel route. Well, it also provides you um, the view to see, you know, the you know, and manage the provisioning of your deployments. So you get to see the every uh, versions and um, details of your deployment uh, profiles. And here is the overview of the man message broker deployments in console. So you, so here you can see the um, how each bundle set is doing. And through this view, you could actually configure the settings of um, each broker sets. Okay, speaking of monitoring, you can view the time taken for each message um, uh, responses in the broker and the time taken for each uh, route in camel as well. And oh, you can also see the endpoints that were exposed as, uh, exposed as a service uh, in the EIP view too. So here is the, you know, here is about the management side of JBoss views. I'll see you in the next video.